Sarah was a cute little girl. One day, her grandmother gave her a handmade red cape. Thank you, Grandma. It's pretty. She wore the red cape everywhere she went. Soon, everybody began to call her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Mom said to Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma is sick. Please bring this food and juice to her. Little go straight to Grandma's. Don't wander anywhere, okay? Yes, Mommy! Little Red Riding Hood left home. After walking in the forest for a long time, she came across two paths in the road. This is the right way to Grandma's. <gasps> Suddenly, a giant wolf appeared from a bush. Oh, hello. I am a wolf. Uh, where are you going, little girl? Hi. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm on my way to my grandma's to bring some food to her. Really? Where does she live? She lives in a house with a red roof under a tall oak tree in the forest. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood answered all the questions without hesitation. The wolf got an idea. <laughs> I am going to eat both Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. The wolf spoke softly to Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood, why don't you go that way? There are many beautiful flowers. Then Little Red Riding Hood remembered what her mother told her. Thanks, but my mom said to go straight to Grandma's. Mm, you're right. You should listen to your mom. But this will be only a little bit of a detour. <laughs> Don't you think your grandma would be happy if you got her some flowers? <laughs> well, grandma would love them. You're right. Well, grandma grandma would like love that. them. Little Red Riding Hood fell right into the wolf's trap. Yes, yes, of course. Little Red Riding Hood walked in the opposite direction from her grandma's house. She felt light-footed, thinking about how happy her grandma was going to be. 